Hey everybody, Max here again. I'm in Seattle and it's raining, old classic. Um, I'm in front of this place. It's called Cut or Watch Cut. And I have a very special friend here who's actually filming right there. And we're gonna go talk to her today. She's gonna introduce us. Hey, let, let me, oh, he oh, let me in. No. Oh, hey. oh, look at that. I wasn't already here. Oh, once. Yeah, you know you got this. Uh, What's up guys? Welcome to Cut. Hi everyone, I'm Marina. I am a fellow happy and I work here in Seattle at Cut, also known as Watch Cut, also known as Cut.com, Cut Video. Uh, we go by many names here. So she's gonna show me around and show you guys around consequently. Yeah. <laughs> Weed Nation. Yeah, the grandma's made it into this Newsweek magazine. The grandma's from uh, the Wii. Oh, I did see that video though. The studio. I haven't been. Whoa! <laughs> These are called psych walls, but they're usually a lot bigger. But our CEO, his dad, built this by himself. He <laughs> built this whole place? Yeah. Hey, it kind of looks well, like a cabin. Our offices are in here. Are there actually people working? Oh, there's actually people. Do you want to take a spin on the reel? Yes. Whatever you get, you actually have to do it. We have everything prepared. Oh, what a test. Go for it. What are these? Your teeth. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we have the coffee enema, too. Once a week, we usually pick one person to do it. <laughs> of I'm just course, kidding. of course. Maybe at the end of the video. <laughs> Tell me one memorable video you did. I always say it's my favorite, but I'm a little biased since I'm in it, and I like did the whole thing, but my mom and I did the research for 100 Years of Beauty Japan. 100 Years of Beauty is our series that we do. It's pretty popular, but we always have someone do the research, and it's always a lot better when it's someone who's like actually from that country and understands the culture and can Google it in the <laughs> native language. So my mom did a lot of it, and then um, we did a research video together as well, which you can find on YouTube. And um, I got to be on set and kind of like creative direct, so it was really fun. All right, let's go into the studio and film our video. Okay. And we're in oh the studio. God. How did that happen? <laughs> it didn't take like 50 minutes to set everything up. No. <laughs> Not at all. But this is uh, me to happy, as you know, so... We're gonna start talking to Marina. Hi. First question, actually, this is not too related. I guess it's related. Your name, Marina, is that? Yes. Marina, or is that Marina? Um, I do have kanji for Marina. Oh, okay. Um, I'm the only one out of my three siblings that has actual kanji. My other brothers. How did that Tatsukana. work? <laughs> well, my mom um, always wanted a girl, and I think she had like a college roommate that was named Marina from somewhere in South America. But her best friend in Japan, her name is Mari. Oh, okay. Like Mung and I don't know what the kanji is. Ten thousand. And D. Yeah. So then she just added not to the end of that. So that's oh, okay. Name, yeah. You said you're half Japanese. What's the other half? Uh, <laughs> the other half, it's really American. Uh -huh. I think like I want to say six or seven generations of Americans. But so I, nothing fancy and European. Right. But I can assume that Taylor is a British name. Yes. And then I. Th think Swedish. So you're not exactly sure. Yeah. You just know. I haven't taken the DNA test. Oh, okay. You just know Caucasian. Yeah. <laughs> Did you grow up in Seattle? Or are you from here? And how yes. long have you been here? So I'm born and raised in America. Mm -hmm. um, I've lived in like the same house my whole life in a suburb of Seattle called Bellevue. Mm -hmm. um, but my mom moved to the States when she went to the University of Oregon. Yes. So we've been here forever. Um, I've never lived in Japan. I think yeah. the longest I've ever stayed in Japan is maybe like two months. And you well, obviously visit a lot. Yes. And was this from how long have you been like going back and forth? Um, so I was born in November, at the end of November, and the first time I went to Japan was for Christmas. Oh. So <laughs> I was like in Japan before I was a month old. So. Did you grow up speaking Japanese because of that? Yeah, um, my siblings and I, we all grew up speaking Japanese and English. Mm -hmm. And then we were put in Japanese school when we could go to school, which was like a Saturday thing. Yeah. I, I was honestly better at speaking Japanese when I was Really? Yeah. Really? Wait, what about my, now? My uh, family friends will all say I was a lot more talkative when I was in <laughs> That's because like, Japanese. my vocabulary is just gone. Though. So maybe, what, Nihongo de dekiru no? Interview? Ma, dekiru. Dekiru no? I just talked about Nihongo de Hanashita Kato Naigara. 
から。ああ、まあ話せる。話せるから。<笑> okay, well that's okay because I don't want to put subtitles on.、Oh, so yeah, we're、true. gonna do English. You did say you know you were going to Japanese school. Yes.、Uh, how many were, years was that?、Uh, I guess it started in Yolchien,、uh-huh. and then I went till fifth grade in Seattle. In Seattle. And did you feel like you fit in? Yeah.、Um, so in Japanese school they have like two classes. One、mm-hmm. was like. I think it's called shakumage, which means rhododendron, which is like the flower of Seattle. And then the other、oh. one was sakura, and that was for like the kids that had come from Japan.、Oh. Both, both their parents were Japanese. Like they are, like here、Super. to actually、yeah. learn in case they go back. Where the shakumage yeah, yeah, yeah. kids were like half Japanese. Yeah, yeah, they, they like separated、me. like that. Yeah, it was like easier. What if it was like? Oh, really? It、yeah. was easier. What if it was like born in the U.S. Japanese people? Well,、Would、you could、be? pick. It's、okay. not like you were weeded out、oh, or anything.、Yeah. There's a very, a very well, quick anecdote I want to throw in there because they did something similar like that in Sofia University where I had、mm. to take. You had a native speaker placement test、yeah. and a non-native,、uh, non-native speaker placement test for taking a Japanese classes.、Oh. And the native speaker placement test was way harder. You took both. I took both because,、okay. uh, long story short, I took both. Yeah. And my native speaker Japanese test was completely blank. <laughs> it was the I, you had you basically just had to write kanji and read kanji. Oh gosh. They didn't like test you on like. How to speak the language? Because they figured if you're native,、yeah. you can do it.、Yeah. Didn't you say you're also going to Japan in Japanese school? Yeah. So my mom grew up in、um, Setagaya,、uh, and so she went to a place called Mishiku Shogakuko.、Mm-hmm. And so whenever we would go back, we'd stay with my grandpa who lived in that same house. Yeah. And then my siblings and I would all enroll in Japanese school for like the three weeks that we were on break, but Japanese kids weren't yet. Yeah. So they would invite us in, and we'd just take classes with them and be like a regular shogun. Did you have to, like? I think I I did that like once or twice. Yeah. So I remember like we were we had to like the kids actually would serve like the food in、uh-huh. the classroom. Yeah. yeah. I know. Now you always see those videos like on now this or whatever. Now this. Like, the difference、yeah. is shocking. They're like it is true. Japanese people, Japanese kids learn discipline、yeah. at a young age. Like there are no janitors in Japanese schools. <laughs> It's true. Yeah, there'd be like an English class, so they'd always have me come up and like teach them words and stuff. Really? So cool. Because you're up in the front, you weren't embarrassed. No, because I was so bad at the Japanese.、Class. I was like, finally, something I'm, I can like. Something I can do. Yeah, I always felt like so because I went to Japanese school a little bit in North Carolina. Yeah. And like the only other guy that I could relate with was the other half Japanese. Kid、um, who also couldn't speak English so well, I、uh, Japanese yeah, so well. But、yeah. I just remember for the play, we had to do like plays,、yeah. and I wanted to do the narrator because that means all I had to do was just read straight off in hiragana.、Yeah. And then、uh, he wanted to play the dog because all he has to do is make dog stuff. <laughs> so it was, it was pretty hilarious. Actually, I just remembered other things. I remember, like, I don't know if it was once a week or something, but we'd go to the pool, and then at the end of the summer, they do this thing where you have to jump in with all your clothes on as practice <laughs> in case sometime during Matsuyasumi you fall into a body of water, so you like are used to swimming out of it with your clothes. It's、on. like, what do you do? Yeah. <laughs>、oh, that's, that actually sounds more like for fun than anything else. I, it wasn't fun. I don't like that. Are you serious? You know, clothes. Wet swim- clothes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess so. I wanted to talk about,、uh, you know, specifically being half though,、mm-hmm. uh, half Japanese. Did you find anything, anything here in Seattle that you felt was like? Did you have any stories or moments?、Yeah. I grew up in Bellevue, which like there are a lot of Asian people.、Mm-hmm. Um, there weren't too many half Japanese people though. I had like one half Japanese friend at ballet,、um, but. Like we would celebrate Hina Matsuri, and my mom would put it up.、Mm-hmm. And sometimes I'd be like embarrassed to bring my friends over because I was like, "Oh my god, it's so Asian." Because like most <laughs> of my friends were white. Yeah. And sometimes for lunch, like I said, I'd have like a lunchbox moment, as it's called, when I'd bring karepam from Wajimaya. It's so sad、yeah. with the lunch. I because I think a lot of just full Asian people can relate to that in、yeah. the U.S. Like they bring something, and everyone's like. What is that smell or <laughs>、yeah. whatever? And you're like, it's just my food. Yeah, I guess people were like accepting of me. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't also、yeah. like outward. I don't know. I think I like 
was I'm pretty American. Luckily, I didn't encounter any like bullying. Um, I feel like when I was younger, I never like resented being Asian, but like being around only white kids, I was always like, oh, I wish this and that. Like, I I don't know why I was like jealous of people that went to church and stuff. <laughs> I was like, I want to have a first communion necklace and like make. <laughs> Uh, crafts for Easter and stuff, but now that I'm older, yeah. like, I feel like being half is like a lucky thing. Does that mean though you're having identity crises? Maybe. Kinda. I don't know. Maybe you're like diagnosing me. Right when now. when did it kind of stop? Where you were like, I'm I'm good where I am. I guess in college, or like when you're younger. I mean, this is like pretty common in everyone. When you're younger, you like hate what makes you different. And then once you get older, you're like, oh crap, those you want to be different. Yeah. Because everyone's the same. You need things to make you like unique. Yeah. I had a pretty like cushy life. <laughs> Cush is that a pun for all <laughs> no. the, the weed that no, is Oh, no, I was with a C. Cushy with a C. Oh, well, actually, now I think I have a better answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're still rolling. Yes, so growing up, my dad, who's white, mm -hmm. he speaks Japanese, and he was actually more involved in the Japanese community in Seattle than my mom was. His business was he created the Japanese language newspaper in Seattle. He did? Yeah, it's called The Soy Source. Oh, that's he, actually, that's weird, that's good. <laughs> he created it, he doesn't do it anymore, he sold it to someone else, but um, they would create guidebooks in Japanese for Seattle and do like translating and stuff. Yeah. So my life has always been like Japanese stuff in America. Right, it's always... So I guess I am more connected to my Japanese side, but like I live in America and I am American, so that's part of it. Right. Why it's like so blended. I guess I wanted to switch gears and talk yeah. back about when you're in Japan. How do people react to you as a half Japanese person there? Is it anything um, in particular? Or? Yeah, I have no idea how many times I've been to Japan. Probably mm -hmm. you don't either. Like maybe between no. like 15 and 20 times, <laughs> sure. I'd say. Recently, I've noticed, well, we always kind of get looked at in the subway. Like if I'm with my um, brother uh -huh. on the train or something, people look at us. But I don't <laughs> think I don't take it in any way, like offensively or anything. Right. Um, and then... A lot of people are just like, oh, Japanese. Yeah, like, <laughs> I can't put my finger on it, but you look different yeah. kind of thing. If I'm at like a store buying something and I'm speaking in Japanese, they'll be like, oh, you know what you like, I'm actually really bad at Japanese uh -huh. is what it is. I should be much better. Right, that's, that's, <laughs> Do you say like, anything there or do you just like say arigato? Thank you for telling me my Japanese oh, is oh, good? Or yeah, do you say, I always like, say thank you. <laughs> I don't try to yeah. argue with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're just like, this is good. good. Do people approach you ever like, hey, you're hafu? No, I've never been approached like that. Okay. Like when I was younger and I'd be walking around, I got like scouted a few times. Younger, like like thirteen. Oh, like that's like prime. that's like the prime yeah, time yeah. Japanese idol. Exactly. Like yeah. That used to happen. I was like super stoked about it, but then nothing would ever happen because I'd come back to Japan or come back to America two weeks later. <laughs> uh, yeah. You could be a famous Hafu talent right now. Right? In Japan. No, I'm just. <laughs> yeah, I always think about that. Like if I grew up in Japan, what would my life be? Yeah. <laughs> no, but. Um, that's about it. Yeah. Maybe other things happen, but I'm just like oblivious to them. Any final words you have that you want to share to anyone else who might be Asian growing up in the US or half Japanese or half Asian or mixed? Yeah. I, to say. I feel like if you're mixed or if you're from like a different culture, or even if you're not and you're like interested in it, to just dive into it and like learn as much as you can, experience as much as you can, go to like the restaurant of a different cuisine than you're used to yeah. because like any kind of experience you can get is different than your own will like add to your <laughs> it's kind of funny you just have to make culture. sure you go to the right one yeah sometimes you could go to not so good japanese restaurants True. yeah like people that go get, get ramen and it's like vegan broth with tofu <laughs> and i'm like that's not you're ramen. like what, what, is, what is that <laughs> like don't call this ramen yeah. it's, a, it's a shame to the name yeah but we can wrap up the video um yeah. I did actually have one surprise though for you. Oh, oh, shoot. Is it like wasabi? Yeah, of course it is. I got sushi with tons of wasabi. And all I'm gonna say is we're gonna play a game. 
Wait, I need, okay. I've been I'll watching a lot of Saw movies, so this is why. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> gonna, bad at Wasabi. I can already see which one it's in. No, no, we're only, basically what are we gonna do, we're gonna rock, paper, scissors, and then whoever loses has to eat one. Oh. Here, oh. this one. Oh. So we're only gonna go for this one. Loser eats this one. Okay, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> are, are you ready for this? I do guess. you like Wasabi? Mm, like, Here, not me, that let much. Me, let me, Look. this is not so bad. Not so bad at all. Okay. You ready? All right. Side show. Here, jump, get foot. Ah! Yes! <laughs> oh! Bon appetit. Oh, man, I usually lose these. This is awesome. <laughs> Are you sure we can't shave like a little more? <laughs> okay, fine. You can okay, shave okay. off a little bit because I'm, I'm nice. And there's oh, cucumber inside sick. to kind of like soften the blow. As a Japanese person, you will handle this with honor. Did you just swallow that? <laughs> you swallowed it. Uh -uh. Oh wow, she's doing really good, guys. <laughs> like, I can't tell if you're. It's not bad. Really? Yes. How did you? I think I avoided my tongue. <laughs> you just like swallowed it in the back of your throat. Yeah. I also did cheat. I shaved half. But you did it. Well, Congratulations. Yeah, I feel yeah, like I should have put a little fun. bit more. <laughs> What's up? Though? I know. No tears or anything. So, Yay! Success. Thank you, Marina, for being on the video. And thank you guys for watching as well. Like I said, she works at WatchCut, so you know you can subscribe to their channel. They make a lot of really awesome content. It's better than place. Buzzbeed. Other... Yeah, <laughs> Buzzbeed. It's better than Buzzbeed. Fu Buzzdeed. Something that rhymes with Buzzdeed. And, and I'm gonna have. So we have this kids channel, and I'm gonna be having the kids trying a bunch of Japanese stuff. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, if so. you're going to Japan, like, please follow. Yes. Okay, guys. Thanks again for watching. Bye. And we'll see you next time. Woo! Do you want the rest of this? No. <laughs>